Hello world, it's Camilla from Art Collector Magazine here and I am currently Zooming with artists Andrea Bolima on my bottom right, Tyne Gordon on my top left and Rebecca Hasselman bottom left who currently stage a three-person exhibition of expressive, luscious, kind of but also highly considered paintings at Yana Miller's Gallery in Wellington which is on until the 12th of June. So I'm coming to you from my living room in Sydney, Australia. Um, Andrea, where do you join us from? I'm in Auckland. I'm on the North Shore in Auckland, Browns Bay. Um, and Rebecca, where are you Zooming from currently? So I'm in a lounge and um, I'm in Dunedin, which is in the South Island of New Zealand. Yeah, and we've just moved in, so there's chaos. Oh, well, thank you for taking the time to um, to join us today in your box cave. I recently moved as well, so I know the feeling. <laughs> <laughs> and Tyne, where are you joining us from? Um, I'm in Christchurch, so just in my lounge as well. Lovely. And that's also on the South Island, isn't it, for yeah. the non-New Zealand watchers? Excellent. Um, so first question to you all, as we all know, the last few months have been you know, completely unprecedented in the way they've fundamentally altered the way we go about living. Um, can each of you speak a little bit to whether or not this has been a productive time for you and, and what you've been doing? So it's sort of been the same for me. I mean, I've definitely been given a lot of time, but there are moments when it does get sort of hard to, to paint just because of what's happening. So. Even though I had a lot of time, um, it can still be hard to work on my paintings, but it is, it is, it's still good to be given that sort of time and, and not think about um, work or um, leaving the house. So, yeah. <laughs> mm. It was a bit of a blessing really, because my partner's a teacher, so he was home and we have two small children. So he was able to look after them. So I was more productive than ever, actually. <laughs> yeah, so it was amazing because he was there. So, yeah, we just juggled that. And, yeah, that's when I made most of the work for the show, which was, yeah, it was great. <laughs> um, okay, so let's talk a bit about your show. And I'm just going to share my screen and, um, and show a few of the works in the show. So... Um, so we've got Rebecca's work here and Tyne's work, these next two coming up, next three coming up. And there's Andrea's work there. So while they are quite distinctly unique to each of your practices, I see the paintings in this show as, as sharing a sort of a camaraderie almost. They, they seem to speak to one another. They have a relationship with one another. Um, there seems to be a coherence that, that doesn't seem accidental. So I was wondering if you could talk a bit to how the show came about and if there were any conversations around sort of what would go in and how, how it would all come together. No, I think, um, yeah, we, it was Jana that did the selection, but, um, and I haven't actually met Andrea, but I think our works share similarities in time I went to art school with, so um, I've seen her work before, so it's been nice to see that again and touch base. And we all share um, an influence from landscape, right? I mean, in the sense, if you're with Andrea, you've got landscape sort of influences as well, don't you? Because I know Rebecca. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that sort of um, influence of materiality and, and sort of the different ways to paint and um, how we control or sort of have these dual kind of um, ways of working with it. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that, that is something that sort of comes through this, this inspiration from landscapes and from the natural world. Um, I was wondering if you could each tell me a little about, bit about what it is that draws you to the natural world and to landscape painting. Um, I guess my works, they're, um, or I, I keep getting told anyway, and I, and I do agree, they're um, emotional landscapes, mental, conceptual landscapes. But, you know, they come from, I guess, just looking at the sky, like the clouds or 
I'm looking at the contours, just like the things that are in my backyard or, and just finding, I guess, the beauty and um, things that are uncertain and I guess um, finding the beauty in whatever has been given to you. <laughs> I think that's a, a nice way to put it. Yeah, well, I guess um, I grew up in a real beautiful landscape in the South Island of New Zealand, so my work will always draw from that because I we go there regularly and I spent a long time there. But I guess traditionally landscape has been, painting has been about looking at the landscape and that's what I work want my work not to be about. I want to try and capture that feeling of being in the landscape because that's what it's about for me. You know, when I'm in the landscape, it's trying to capture that feeling that what it's like to be there in that moment. And I guess, yeah, trying to describe some of what that's like through paint in the formal qualities. Um, I think I, we all um, have similar ideas around trying to capture the feeling as opposed to, um, um, I kind of think of them as these fake synthetic landscapes that I create through my emotions or intuition. So nothing that's based on um, a photo or an image of the landscape or a, a scientific reading or a, um, it's more of definitely more of a feeling and I think that's similar to obviously you guys as well um, and that's quite interesting and perhaps that's what Jana saw in, in all of our work we have this sort of abstraction but it's about the feeling or an emotion um, that we get from landscape. Yeah and I think there's something very poignant about that at this time that um taking solace in in the world around us and and also the natural world getting a bit of solace from from us at this time um obviously it's been a um a time of high emotion so i think that the works really speak at the moment um in their execution and and in their um presentation together as a as an exhibition so um, just a one last little question to finish off. Um, it's all obviously going to be a little while until we're all able to travel again, but it doesn't hurt to dream. So um, I wanted to ask if you could have a studio anywhere in the world, where would it be and why? Ooh, yeah, I, I, live, I live in Auckland and I live in the city and it's just too much sometimes. There's too many people everywhere. <laughs> I live in Sydney, I hear you. <laughs> just too crowded so yeah I've always loved the South Island actually I'm not just saying it because Rebecca and Tanya are there but like I have friends I have friends who live down there so it's yeah I've always wanted to have a studio somewhere down there um just to have like a nice um just sort of cabin or you know where I can just be left alone and and just paint um away from the city definitely yeah I, I agree with your South Island comments. I was there in um, just before everything hit the fan um, in January, and I just had the best time driving around in a van for two weeks. So, um, yeah, it was pretty special. Um, to be really honest, I don't think there's anywhere in the rest of the world, or maybe the west coast of Scotland, that's really beautiful, <laughs> that has a similar <laughs> landscape to New Zealand. I could go there, but... I'm actually really excited about being in Dunedin and getting a studio set up here because it's, yeah, uh, the place we're in, it looks right out to the harbour and the sea and, yeah, it's beautiful, especially at this time of year. So, I, oh, it's tricky. I think, I think I agree with you, Andrea, somewhere definitely in nature. I sort of, I think because my work's based on landscape a lot, the soaking in, in nature is really important and, um, being having a studio within a space like that especially by the sea I think that would be amazing like being quite close to the sea I think New Zealand's good for now I don't yeah we're pretty lucky we've got an amazing sort of um different sort of landscapes within such a small place as well like we're yeah absolutely yeah, yeah. it's like a compact little nature Disneyland down there in the South Island okay. <laughs> Um, awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time, everyone. It's been really lovely to chat with you. Um, and I do urge everyone to head on over to yanamillers.com 
um, or in the gallery if you're in Wellington, obviously practicing social distancing measures. Um, and experiencing these paintings for yourself. Um, these are young and talented artists and um, it's great work. So well done to you all. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.